Hey guys, what's up? Today in the Brick Lab, we're going to be visiting Ray and Maya's blacksmith shop. So, technically speaking, Ray and Maya already got a forge back in 2017 with the Dragon's Forge set, but that one was from the Hands of Time wave, and it was where the Hands of Time were technically imprisoning them, and I wanted to make a more old-fashioned, more medieval-style forge, something like they would have used before the Serpentine Wars. And of course, a huge inspiration for this was the LEGO Ideas Blacksmith Shop, which did release recently, but I didn't feel like spending $150 on it, and plus it's kind of out of stock at the moment now anyway, so I guess it really doesn't matter. But yeah, anyway, that was basically my inspiration for this, so I, um... I basically just took the, one of the houses from the Ninjago City docks, threw it on top of a stone base, and there we go. We have a great new custom forge for Ray and Maya. And you can see some of that details outside here. The forge here is actually pretty basic. It's just a basic forge with some fire. And then we have an anvil here, and that's pretty much it. I didn't even bother including the bellows or the water trough or anything like that because, well, details, details, whatever. Well, basically, I figure if I needed anything that detailed, I'd probably just end up buying the set anyway. And then and in case you're wondering about this here, it's actually the Goblet of Fire from the Harry Potter Advent Calendar from last year. I just threw it in as a sort of maybe commission from Crux and Necronics, given the uh, little snakes that it has on the side here, which were a piece that first came out with that wave. So, so kind of a nice little throwback there. And then um, if we spin it around, we can see some more of the details of the set. You can see we have the little arches here supporting this side of the house, and also Ray and Maya's symbol underneath the overhang here. And then flipping around to the back, we can see we have a little more detail with some windows and some nice stonework between the windows. I was actually going to use some lattice pieces here for the windows just to help with the detail and make it uh, look a little more cleaned up and a little more presentable. But unfortunately, it looks like they're uh, buried in the parts bin that I haven't gotten around to sorting yet, which is a lot of pieces and I really need to get started with. So yeah, a little unfortunate there. And then if we look further to the right, we can see we have the little wood pile here. And if we rotate around even more and kind of slide that little bonsai out of the way, you can see here we have the start of the wood pile and then also just a little axe to help uh, Ray and Maya with the firewood there. And of course the bonsai is not 100% accurate, but since I, uh, but since the actual blacksmith shop included a little apple tree in this location, I thought it'd be fun to throw in a little tree design of my own. Of course, the one important detail that I did forget was actually the well. That's something that a blacksmith that no blacksmith shop could ever be without. So uh, I'll probably have to add one. In and at some point, assuming I end up keeping this set. So I basically designed this set so that it would be as easy as possible to get to the interior. So if we lift off the house here, you can see it's only actually supported by a couple of studs. Um, but then on the inside here, you can see the interior of the blacksmith shop. This is basically where Ray and Maya store all the uh, weapons and armor that they worked on. So you can see, again, we have um, some more shields and some weapons from the Master of the Mountain season because it, it really ties in well with the medieval aspect of the blacksmith shop. And of course, we have the Master the mountain armor and then over here jay's hero helmet and then basically just a standard knight helmet and then of course another standard knight helmet which is actually made with an exo knight's visor on top of a silver motorcycle helmet and you can see the sword is uh, already falling out of the barrel and that's just one of the uh, time twin swords from again hands of time i thought it'd be nice to throw that in there since obviously ray and maya were the one who made all the vehicles and the weapons and the armor for the uh for the uh, Vermilion army. So the house, as I already pointed out, basically just stole from the Ninjago City docks, but I did have to make a couple of changes to it to make it more medieval. For example, I removed the satellite dish that was right here and replaced it with just a simple lantern. And then on this side, I removed the TV antenna and the solar panel and replaced them with just plain black tiles. And then moving to the interior here, you can see first things uh, first up that I added in a nice little candle here. I really love this new flame piece that we got back in 2018, and basically I use it wherever I can. There used to be a counter here with a TV, uh, an oven, and a sink, and a couple of other things. I removed them and replaced them with just a simple table. We can see uh, somebody got interrupted in the middle of their lunch here with a little carrot and a sausage, and then a little golden goblet, which I assume would be probably one of Ray's side projects. And then over here in this corner, there's a butter churn, which I stole directly from the Ideas Blacksmith Shop. I really love that touch. It's not something that I've noticed in a Lego build before, so I just had to steal it. Although, I guess... In the broader context of things, it doesn't really make sense. I mean, that blacksmith shop set doesn't even have a cow. And in the Ninjago context, I don't think we've ever seen cows in Ninjago, other than like the Wallabers or whatever. But and then moving over to the side here, the bunk bed stayed pretty much the exact same. 
Um, but if we move them out of the way and open up the roof, you can see on the small table here, it had like the sort of Ninjago-esque control panel. So I just removed that and replaced it with just a little piece of paper and then a quill with a little inkwell. So yeah, that's basically it for the interior of the set. And that brings us right back to where we started from. And part of the reason why I find this project so appealing is that I really, I really love the hero suits that came out last summer. And I really wish that Lego had done more with them, at least more in terms of the medieval aspect of them or something along those lines, I guess. If something castle-themed, I guess. That that would have been really fun. I guess it's up to us to make our own builds and whatnot for that, so it's a, it's a fun little tie-in with the sets from last summer, and it would be nice if we could have more like that. But I guess there's no reason why you couldn't just get the LEGO Ideas Blacksmith Shop and maybe modify that and make it more Ninjago-themed, which now that I think about it, is not too bad of an idea, and if I ever get that set, that's maybe something that I'll end up doing. Alright, that is it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it this far, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and do all that other good stuff. And if you want to see more of my content, please feel free to check out the other videos on my channel, and if there's something you want to see me build, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below, and I will see what I can do. Again, that's all I have for you guys today, so I will see you next time.